Now this morning I was looking at a goal that I've been trying to achieve and I've been looking at it for a couple of weeks now and to me it just seemed like words on a page. There's this thing I wanted to achieve, there's me and then there was a gap between the two of us. I just seemed to have no connection to it. It just looked like a jumble of letters on a page and I was just looking at it today and thinking to myself you know why is there a gap between me and it and I don't know whether I've heard this before read this before or just you know a download from the universe or whatever but I was just given this thought and the thought was fall in love with your goal and I'm just thinking to myself you know this goal that I have on this page do I really love it because when I'm thinking back to some of the goals I've achieved in the past um, the easiest goals that I probably have achieved in the past were goals that I fell in love with you know, there's that moment where maybe you see a car that you've always wanted to have and you're constantly thinking about what would it be like to have that car? What would it be like to drive that car? What would it be like to put that car in your driveway? Or you see a house that you want to move into and you're constantly thinking about the house. You know, you don't need to look at a gold card. You don't need to have pictures on the wall because the picture in your head is already here and you're replaying it over and over and over and over again because you're in love with that house. And I find when I think back to some of the goals I've achieved in the past, it has been because of that. It has been because I've fallen in love with those things. And it didn't take any effort for me to think about those things because they were always at the back of my mind. You know, I'd sit down for a few minutes and I'd think about that car or I'd think about that house or I would think of writing that book or recording that video. And those goals were really easy because I fell in love with it. Now, I don't know if it's me or if I stupidly heard this before and never took this in piece of advice or whether I heard it from someone else or maybe I'm just a genius. I don't know. But if you have a goal maybe right now and if there is a disconnect between you and that goal, it could be from what I've realised and that was there was no kind of love. And what you probably would need to do is, like I'm going to do with my goal, is actually look at it, see if I can fall in love with it. And if I can't fall in love with it, well then, why can't I fall in love with it? Because really, goal setting shouldn't be, you know, taking a, a goal card out of your pocket every five minutes just to rehash and reinforce it into your head. It should automatically be there because you want to do it. So I need to maybe look at the goal that I have now and think to myself, well, if I can't fall in love with it, maybe this goal isn't right for me. Maybe I need to come up with a different goal. Maybe I need to maybe take my idea of money and focus on maybe some achievement. That will still get me there. You know, sometimes maybe we have this mental blank, blank, blank when it comes to money. And maybe if we maybe take our goal off maybe money and onto an achievement where we would, ably, would be able to get that money at, we could still get the money and we could have the achievement. So I don't know if it's just me or something I've realised, but um, if you have a goal, maybe try that out. Maybe try and see if you love that goal. And if not, can you fall in love with that goal? And maybe if you can't fall in love with that goal, well then that might be a bad sign that maybe you need to focus on another goal instead. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Am I a genius? Or have you heard this before? Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.